What if I told you that there's one habit that if you begin building this one habit in your life today, it will make every relationship you have in your life better? What if I told you there was one habit? If you, if you started this one habit in your life today, if you began building this one habit in your life today, it would make your relationship with Jesus stronger than it's ever been before. And this one habit is a habit that every single one of us have the power to begin building in our life today. You don't have to be a, a superhero of the faith and have walked with God for years and years. You could have literally just met him this Easter. And this one habit will help that friendship with Jesus grow at a rate that's faster than otherwise it would grow. This one habit will help the most meaningful relationships in your life be better than they have ever been before. And this habit, you can start right when you're done viewing this devotional. And it's simply a, a, an easy thing that you could do today, right now, is take out a piece of paper, a note on your phone. Is it can even simply be a mental list that you are a build in your own heart and in your own mind. But as simple as taking a few moments of your day to build a quick inventory, a, a list of of things you've thought that maybe you shouldn't have thought, the thoughts you allowed to go wild in your mind that you should have taken under control, words where you were maybe short with somebody when, when, and you were coarse and, and harsh with someone with your, with your words in a way that maybe even hurt them and you, you were just real flippant about it. Maybe you were tense and you were frustrated and you said something harder or harsher than you meant to and it maybe wounded them. Maybe it was an action that you took that, that hurt somebody else. Maybe it was a simple attitude that you just had with somebody, that there was a wrong attitude. Take a moment, write these things down. Write the person's name down next to them. And then take a moment and pray and bring those things to the Lord and ask him for his forgiveness. And then, if this did include wounding somebody else, have the courage the very next day and just have the conversation with the person and keep a really short account and just simply say, I'm sorry. Will you please forgive me? In God's word, 1 John 2, 28 says this, And now, dear children, continue to live in fellowship with Christ so that when he returns, when he comes back, you'll be full of courage and not shrink back from him in shame. Shame is what happens in our lives when we've done something wrong and we hide it. We don't bring it into the light. And so it creates a relational distance between us and that other person or us and God. And we begin projecting somebody that we really aren't. And, and we begin pretending and we begin sweeping things under the rug and not really dealing with them. And that relationship actually becomes inauthentic. It rots from the inside out when we keep things in hiding. And God's word tells us, hey, don't bring things into the, the darkness and hide things. Bring them into the light. Continue to live in fellowship. Continue in friendship and openness, walking in the light with God, John encourages us. So that way, when God comes back, we have nothing to hide. There's no shame in us. We have good, open friendship with him. Listen, if you take a moment today to build a simple mental inventory and then bring those things to the Lord and apologize for them. And if you wounded someone, go to them and apologize to them. Every relationship you have will be better. And your friendship with Jesus will be stronger if you just build that one simple habit into your life today. Hey. Thanks for being with me on this devotion today. If we haven't met, my name's Paul Alexander. I serve as the executive pastor at Sun Valley. If this was helpful to you, uh, would you like it? Maybe share it, comment on it. Help us get the word out about what God can do, not just in your life, but in others also. Thank you.